You're welcome back. Um, NLC is spoiling for a fight, not just at uh, the national level. We also have at you know, in Imo State where the injunction that they should not go on strike has been extended by the court. And we have here to discuss with us this morning the Assistant General Secretary NLC, Mr. Chris Onyeka. Good morning and welcome to the program. Yeah, good morning. Thank you for having me. Mm. Okay, we'll start from the local scene, which is uh, Imo State in this case, and then we'll go to the national. So let's begin. What's going on in Imo State? The Imo State NLC was supposed to go on strike. Now the courts have said that they cannot go in stri on strike. What's the situation? Um, the situation is very clear. NLC uh, would uh, embark on action as we have proposed. Um, the Imo State Governor or Imo State Government has unfortunately become a serial abuser of the rights and privileges of workers in the state. And unfortunately, this habit is, is led by a belief by the government that it has succeeded in cowing and intimidating the workers and the trade union leaders in the state. And so, uh, believing in this, it misled itself into owing worker salaries, months and months of salaries. Take of dues that were deducted, he, the government refused to hand over to the owner, the unions that own such check of dues. Pensioners, we are owed a record of their pensions. Workers were declared ghost workers. And why, why they are still working for the government, they were declared ghost workers. Our secretariat, or the secretariat of NLC, was vandalized by agents of the government. The property kept their away. Then, I think that is not enough, as we were trying to organize our elections in March this year, the, go the government sent it against to unleash mayhem on the workers that are gathered together to elect their own leadership, not leaders for governor or for anybody in government, but leaders for NLC in the state. They came and unleash violence on the workers, beat them up, Cutted away the equipment that were that was meant for the youth, for the election that was supposed to recruit new leaders. I think that was not enough. As the workers were organizing this year's meeting as an NLC secretariat, the governor sent talks to also unleash violence on workers. Destroyed the equipment, wounded many people who ended up in hospital. One woman died as a consequence of the action, the violence that was meted against us. Mr. Nyeka, On that same day, the woman died the following day as a result of the shock, the trauma. Mr. Onyeka. That Yes. Onyeka, please. Ah, these allegations are very weighty. How did you know it was the state governor? Was it the police that was sent or army or security outfits that are under the purview of the governor? How did you know he sent these talks? Yes, because the, the one that happened during the delegate conference was that the governor had his own candidates that he wanted to be the leaders of the nurse in the state. Okay. And the people that came used the name of the governor. They said they had authority from the government to disband the, um, the, the, um, the Congress. Mm. And now, the first people that came during that conference were thought when they had beaten up the people and were eventually insisted then the police now came to say that they have authority not to allow this congress to take place. Mm. And so we lost, we lost equipment and we, people were injured. Then the one 
that happened during the murder. They, we had policemen that were protecting the workers as members of the police force. It will interest you to know that those some policemen came and told the leaders in the state that they had been ordered by higher authorities to leave that place. The moment they left, five minutes after they had left, the force came and beat up everybody. Who else would do it? Will it be the workers that beat themselves? It was clear where it came from. In any case, we have reported this matter to the National Labor Advisory Council. We have reported this matter to the Federal Ministry of Labor. We have reported this matter to the International Labor, Labor Organization, the Committee of Experts on the Application of Recommendations and Conventions. We have, we have, we have compiled these evidences and sent it to these bodies to show you how grievous it is. So the governor had a sentence for using target and violence against workers and the trade unions in the state. And that is wrong. Mm. Interesting. But now that you say the action will still continue, you've been told that there will be consequences. How do you intend to navigate around that? We don't know about consequences. We don't know about consequences. All we know is that our, our workers ought to be protected. If any judge, if any judge is sitting anywhere and uh, believing that justice so well now, or whoever he is, believe that he can stay somewhere and issue I injunction against workers from exercising their rights, okay, to freely demonstrate, <laughs> that becomes an aberration. Because our constitution guarantees to every citizen the right to peacefully assemble and to hold opinion and to express them in every peaceful means. And so there is no court that can adjudicate that particular right out of existence. And so I know that that whoever it is that must have given an injunction, okay, uh, uh, may not have taken that into consideration. That we are free citizens, and this is Nigeria. We are laws govern all of us. And so we will express ourselves freely as individuals in Imo State. Mm. Well, now, this, this case has been adjourned till uh, November 3 uh, for hearing, whether there was going to be a settlement or otherwise. Are you prepared to wait till November 3? It's just two days away uh, from uh, the 1st of November that was supposed to be the day for the strike, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Are you prepared to wait for the extra two days? The Nigerian Labour Congress believes in social dialogue and collective bargaining. And that, is, that has always been our, uh, our centre point. It is, it is the government of human state that has advocated this responsibility. Instead of dialoguing, it will decide to use violence. Instead of dialoguing, it will decide to go to court and to procure judgment in the midnight against its own workers. But that is not going to work. We are open for discussion. But it is not the kind of discussion that has been taking place with, between us and them. Because the initial times that we discuss with them, we reach agreement, at the end of the day, they will not implement it. That is where we are. That is where we are. That is the problem. Agreement has been reached. To implement it. And that is the only thing we are asking for. We are not asking for the move. We sat down with you. We reach agreements. Why can't you implement these agreements? That is the problem. Okay, uh, finally now, let's, let's okay, just, just to, be sh to be clear, the strike will still go on, right, in Imo State? I am already in Imo State. I, I came into Imo State yesterday, and this action will go on. Yeah. Whether uh, this action will go on, because I am a free citizen of Nigeria, we will, uh, we will organize ourselves, come together. If they want to jail us, 
Let them jail us. If they want to shoot us, let them shoot us. But we will liberate the workers of the state. And we're determined about that. And it's as simple as that. The choice is in the hands of the governor of Imo State. The government of Imo State can decide to implement the agreement, can decide to meet with us. We will discuss and we will agree. Simple, and we call it off. But if, it, if they refuse, we are here. And the, and the action is, uh, is bound to take place. Okay. It's as simple as that. Okay. Uh, let's go to the national scene. The national scene, the national NLC is uh, threatening that today, the meeting that is supposed to hold between uh, the Labour and, uh, and the federal government, they may boycott it if uh, the uh, Minister of Labour attends the meeting. And uh, we don't re really know what's going on there, because how do you talk about Labour issues without the Minister of Labour being in attendance? What really are the issues that need to be addressed, that can be addressed without uh, the Minister of Labour being there? What's the situation at the national scene now? The Minister of Labour is supposed to be the constituted authority as far as industrial relation issues are concerned in Nigeria. And now it's supposed to be an arbiter, a mediator, which means that it's supposed to be neutral. That is the moral high ground that is required of anybody that is holding that particular position. The position of the Minister of Labor and that of the Attorney General of the Federation are two principal positions in Nigeria that require the occupants of such position okay, to act in such a way that is unbiased, in such a way that protects the nation at all times, unlike other ministers. But unfortunately, this minister, this minister had decided to descend into the arena. And if you descend into the arena in an issue, in a relation issue, it means that you have lost the moral high ground to continue as an arbiter. Mm. You have stripped yourself of the right to be a conciliator or to be an arbiter. And that is what has happened to the Minister of Labor. We no longer have trust and confidence in his position as a Minister of Labor to continue to sit at the table with us to discuss these matters because we have lost confidence. And these kind of negotiations require that we have people that are already or that are ready to look at these matters dispassionately to save Nigeria and to save the industrial relations plan. What did the minister do? In the case of the National Union of road transport workers. You remember that the police led some group of people from Lagos to go and occupy the national headquarters of the union. They chased out the democratically elected leaders and, and imposed a group of people who were not members of the union on the national secretariat. This event led to the death of some of, of one person. And then we warned and discussed with the police authorities and the Ministry of Labor and the rest concerned. And we were given assurance that these issues will be resolved amicably the way we have talked about it. Because it's an industrial relation matter. Then, what the Ministry of Labor did was to call a meeting, was to call a meeting of the parties. Instead of negotiating as an arbiter, as a neutral arbiter, the minister went and held a meeting, a private meeting, with the other party, the party that came from Lagos, who were members of lands, parks and garages. He held meetings with them and told them to go ahead and organize delegate conferences. Meanwhile, these delegate conferences, according to the Constitution of the Union, had taken place in May of this year when these people 
We are still vendors of lunch and packs and garages in Lagos. They had held all these conferences, which culminated into the inauguration of the president, Congressman between Barua in Nasarawa State. And then this is what the minister went in private to tell the other group and say, okay, you will go and organize your own conference. In other negations, to the pursuit of the union. Mr. Onyeka. So the minister that is supposed to protect mm. the industrial relations client is the one that is trying to pollute it. Okay. And so we are saying, to avoid this pollution, All right. to avoid this contamination, mm. he should stay away until he purges himself of that particular idea, okay, you know that you can that you can take sides in issues like this. Okay, we we so now that understand is why we said it shouldn't be there. Yeah, okay. we now understand why why you took that position. But we do hope that the outcome of this meeting, or uh, the meeting, will hold in the first place, and then the outcome of this meeting will be for the good of Nigerians. We wish you luck in Imo State and at the national level as you um, fight this fight for the common man. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, and God bless you for having me. Thank you for being a part of our program. Uh, we were talking with Mr. Chris Onyeka, the Assistant um, uh, General Secretary of NLC. He spoke to us from Imo State, where he has gone to uh, mobilize the others to either dialogue with the government or embark on the industrial action and damn the consequences uh, according to the courts. Well, that's how we will wrap up on the show this morning. It's been a pleasure being here to serve you. We do hope that we are going to do it again same time tomorrow. Stay with us. Up next is the news. My name is Nyamgul Agaji.